Namaste crypto aficionados and my fellow capitales. I hope you guys are doing great and I'm back again and I want to talk to you about the growing ever growing power and ecosystem of sphere finance. So now there is a project that is coming out on uh, BSC. It's called Kuhn, right? And Kuhn is a brand new decentralized exchange coming to Binance Smart Chain and building on previous iterations of VE. 3 3 DEXs. Uh, VE as invested escrow, right? And uh, 3 3 is, you know, a meme actually and uh, part of a game theory, right? So if you, um, if everybody works together and uh, we all reach the best desired outcome, okay? So in this case, would be the best, uh, all working together would be staking their tokens and voting as well. So that's V3. Uh, VE33 for you, right? Kohn will offer the most efficient swaps for both stable trading pairs and volatile trading pairs, okay? So Kohn Swap is actually trying to be the dystopia of uh, BSC. Because as you know, the sphere finance and uh, I, I'm, I was talking about dystopia, how dou high, how dou sorry, how dystopia is the curve of Polygon and Penrose is the uh, convex of Polygon, right? The curve wars on Polygon. So now they want to bring the curve wars to BSC. They want um, Cone, right? Cone swap to become the dystopia, okay? And uh, there will be another protocol, a yield optimizer, okay? And that will be controlling and directing the liquidity on this Cone swap. And then, of course, the governance tokens of that protocol is under Sphere, right? So it's all one big, uh, huge thing to make, uh, you know, Sphere the kingpin. The kingpin is Sim Salah, the founder of Sphere. So, okay, I'm not going to go into that. Now I'm talking about this code, right? All right. So existing decentralized exchanges face two major pitfalls, offering a single automated maker, market maker curve, AMM, and incentivizing liquidity over trading volumes, okay? So when you want to swap, uh, you know, stable assets, people go to curve, okay? And when uh, people are trying to uh, swap volatile asset pairs, okay, like WETH and USDC, people are likely to use pancake swap. Okay, so what they want to do, they have uh, came up with a formula, and that formula they are trying to come, they are trying to allow users to come to a single DEX for the most efficient trading experience, regardless of swap type, and create deeper liquidity in a unified protocol. Okay, in the first of its kind DEX, Cone will charge 0.01% swap fees on stable swaps and 0.05% on volatile swaps, right? Rather than having a rigid one size fits all fee. So I would check so I was checking about Uniswap. So you know Uniswap is a bit different. They are trying to keep it cost effective. So they have uh, three fee tiers. Okay, 0.05%, 0.3 and 1%. I believe 1% is for their volatile pairs. Okay. That's why it's 1% slippage that you know we see always, right? So the slippage on uh what you call it, I mean the fees and all that on um cone is much lesser because they are trying to do they are trying to bring the efficiency right into the decks, right? So, um, um, classic DEX designs incentivize liquidity while VE33 solutions like Cone incentivize trading fees. Okay, so in a typical DEX, liquidity providers, the LPs, are rewarded with governance tokens simply for depositing their liquidity into the protocol. However, in VE33, users who stake the native governance token Cone for VE Cone, vote as Croat Cone have the power to direct Cone emissions to their preferred liquidity pools. Thus, liquidity providers can earn emissions from their deposits based on the voting decision of VE Cone holders, and VE Cone holders receive the trading fees for the pools. So you have Cone, right? You stake it. It becomes VE Cone. Once you have the VE Cone, you have the voting right. To vote for a, partic a particular liquidity pair that will uh, will have emissions in cone, 
right so and you will get the trading fees so more people uh, put their liquidity there and then uh, more trading fees uh, happens right because there's more liquidity there's more buying and selling buying and selling and uh, and the uh, and the people who stake that you know they get rewarded so that's the whole idea okay <laughs> Right. Um, this creates a game theory situation in which the pools that have highest trading volumes receive the most votes for emissions, which attracts more LPs. Right. With greater deposits and more LPs, the swap experience become more efficient for traders since there is deeper liquidity and less price impact from each swap. So cone. So the real utility that they have is with a unified swap experience and deep liquidity cone is primed to be the most accessible and useful decks within the bsc ecosystem both everyday liquidity providers and large protocols can benefit from cone so cone was something that i heard of uh when sim sala right mentioned in july 23 two days back finance is game over you know so i was thinking what the hell is that Right. So, you know, and then I realized that he was talking about cone exchange and he also confirmed it over here. Right. So Sphere Finance said, right, pay attention to cone swap. They are relieved. Sorry. They are revealing a lot of info. Toon. Toon means soon. Right. That's a kind of a mean thing. They are revealing a lot of info. Of course, you can't just buy the token. There's no pre-sale or, or, you know, a private sale or token sale and all that. You are, if you give liquidity, uh, you can earn the emissions or, you know, or wait for it to hit the the decks, you know, and then you can buy it off from there, right? Because those people who want to sell it off. So this is something that is not going to, you know, uh, because if you compare it with Dystopia, let me just give you an example. These guys like Dystopia, they don't care. They launched it in the worst of the bear markets, their project, you know. So even if their token price goes down like that, they don't care. All they want to do is build. So I believe Cone also is something like that. I don't think it's straight away you buy and then do like 100x, no such thing. I don't think so. I think you probably will have to hold it for a while, right? Because it's going for something bigger, right? It's going for the, it's it's trying to be the curve, the, the curve wall. If they are successful, it's going to be big, right? So this is what I think, okay? So I'm going to just read off the thread because it's much easier now. I don't want to go into too many technicalities. So. So the cone is actually a reward token, right? Right. Okay. It's valuable due to its underlying utility and force appreciation over time. You can use it to vote for your favorite pools to gain a boost in APR. Okay. Or you could use it to vote for bribed pools, which give you added benefits. No matter who you vote for, you earn from swap fees from the pools you vote for. Reward emissions are best left in the hands of the community. They want to reward the community. I think that's great, right? So projects with the need for deep liquidity will always be more inclined to keep the favor of the community, right? Due to the cone em cone's emission schedule, the rewards will become more scarce over time, making voting extremely valuable as more time passes. <laughs> Cone, sorry, is forced to appreciate over time. The more cone is used as a DEX, the more that cone is used as a DEX, the better for liquidity provider. To be able to vote on pools, you have to lock your cone, right? When you lock your cone, then you get VE cone. And that VE cone, you can vote. So locking varies from six months to four years. is the same like curve, right? Or dystopia. So what does cone bring to the table with our efficient liquidity usage? I've already gone through this, okay? There's no other decks in BSC that gives you 0.05% fee, that charges you a 0.05% fee on volatile assets, okay? So for projects who want to come in, they will need to get the NFT, right? They need to have a NFT, a cone exchange NFT, and they need their pair, their liquidity pair to be whitelisted, okay? and they need to own 0.2% of cone supply right so they are talking to pro they are talking to protocols projects right hey you want you have raised this amount you need liquidity you got to own 0.2% of cone first then you can come and put your liquidity here you know so this is i think great you know it's a good thing so those people who have those projects that are serious who have money they will be coming in right so i like that so in conclusion okay cone is the best of both 
Curve and Uniswap. And there is nobody on BSC that is offering what we are offering right now. So the last thing that I want to say is this is going to be another source of revenue for Sphere. You know, so they are going to have the governance tokens of that protocol that is going to control Cone, right? And I think that if they do that, right, um, they will be getting the emissions, more and more emissions and like how they are earning from Dystopia and Penrose. So Sphere, whatever emissions that they are earning from there, they are using that and they are buying back Sphere and burning Sphere. So this is something that you got to understand. You know, they are burning, they are, they are earning and then they are buying back Sphere and then they are burning and this will cause a supply shock, right? Sooner or later, it'll, you know, slowly as time goes by, it will cause a supply shock and the price will just shoot up. So... I think it's going to I think it's I think it's awesome what Sphere is doing and I think you should take a look at Coneswap. So I'm gonna next for my next project I'm gonna talk about Anarchy. So guys, let me know what you think of this uh, projects and let me know what other gems you are looking at because I need to know if there's any good projects out there. We like to be early, right? The community we want to be early, okay? So guys, I also want to say thank you and. Namaste.